we have y equal to the hyperbolic secant of 5x squared. For clarity, it's implied, but you could add parentheses here to make it a little more clear. Recall that the derivative of the hyperbolic secant of x, well, if it was just secant, it would be secant tangent. But whenever it's hyperbolic, you do get a negative sign here. So it's negative hyperbolic secant, hyperbolic tangent. So in this case, it's not just the hyperbolic secant. It's the hyperbolic secant of 5x squared. So we have an inside function. So we do have to use the chain rule. Let's go ahead and take the derivative. So y prime. So we take the derivative of the outside function, which is the hyperbolic secant, and we leave the inside untouched. So it would be negative hyperbolic secant of 5x squared, hyperbolic tangent of 5x squared, times the derivative of the inside. And that's a chain rule, right? So 2 times 5 is 10x. This is the chain rule. Right? We're using the chain rule. That's where the 10x comes from. So you take the derivative of the hyperbolic secant. That gives you negative hyperbolic secant, hyperbolic tangent. Then you multiply by the derivative of the inside, which is 10x. The last thing maybe to do is put the 10x in the front. So this is negative 10x, hyperbolic secant of 5x squared, hyperbolic tangent of 5x squared. And that is the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful.